I think we're moving back to some international questions now. Another video. Hello, Prime Minister. My question is this. What is the wisdom of aggressively pursuing Iran for its nuclear program, whilst Israel, which is the region's only rogue nuclear state, receives no comparable attention? And can you see how this double standard may constitute a destabilizing factor in the region? Well, it's a fair I, question, I, isn't I it? I make two points to, to Tim. First of all, we support the non-proliferation treaty, and we believe that everyone should fulfill their obligations under that treaty. But I would make this point about Iran, which I think does make Iran a special case. I can't think of another country, actually, anywhere in the world that has actually said it wants to obliterate uh, one of its neighboring uh, countries. It has said that uh, about Israel. That seems to me to make it uh, materially different from other countries. You know, to make that statement that it wants to wipe another country in its neighborhood off the map and it is pursuing, uh, to all intents and purposes, a nuclear weapon, I think makes it a special case. And that's why it's right to have the sanctions, to take a very tough approach, and to say to the Iranian government, there is another path for you. You can have civil nuclear power, you can have full engagement in the world community, but if you go down this path of nuclear weapons, you should expect, uh, you should expect to be cut off from the rest of the world, you should ex expect sanctions, and you should expect to be treated as a pariah. But why should Iran have to declare that and Israel not? There's still so much ambiguity no, about I Israel's nu nuclear weapons in the first place. I, as I said, everyone should ap apply the non-proliferation treaty. I think that is absolutely key. But I think there is a special case here with Iran, a country that is trying to get a nuclear weapon and that is saying that it believes in wiping another country off the map. I can't think of another country uh, that has made that statement, and that's why I think this is a very special case. And it would lead to, if we are concerned about proliferation, it could lead to a nuclear arms race in the Middle East, which nobody wants to see.